Welcome back everyone. In this video we are going to be exploring four wands. Uh, these ones were provided in the Discord. Well, three of them were provided in the Discord and uh, this fourth one I just made something out of the third wand. So what we have going on is two transport wands and divide by 800. So let's hop into this first one real quick. So we have uh, all these stats uh, to fix the wands, you probably wouldn't need uh, that many eyes, but uh, just to make sure that it's casting well enough, the stats on this wand are pretty well fixed to begin with, so they don't need any of these eyes, but just throwing it on there. And then we have Ground of Sand, Invisible Spell, uh, Reduce Lifetime on this Long Distance Cast. So what this does is it makes ground of sand on this long distance cast and this long distance cast is cast faster because it has a reduced lifetime so that this doesn't shoot out as far as it can. And then we have two explosive projectiles and invisible spell with Nola on return. And so this is going to make uh, our transport pretty much and it's going to blow up the sand and it's going to have uh, no particles due to invisible spell, which is a really neat interaction. And this build was provided by Asthmatic Dragon. So this is what it looks like. And if you want, you can probably take one of these off and the reduced lifetime. I, I like how it flowed with the reduced lifetime, but this is without it. So yeah, it's pretty destructive and uh, you can uh, definitely use uh, some variant of it, but it is a very cool looking build, so I wanted to show it off. So this build has the same, it, its stats are pretty well fixed. This one's not as great as the other one, but these three eyes are going to fix it. And so same concept on the first part, it's going to be casting a touch of smoke. So normally Touch of Smoke is pretty dangerous because uh, as you can read it will transmute anything into smoke. But if you have Saving Grace and a build similar to this you can just keep casting Circle of Vigor to heal yourself when you take that damage. Uh, so I'm not too familiar with the requirement spells and this is what I got to work for me. Uh, so pretty much it will only cast Circle of Vigor once you're below 25% health, but there, there was a different way that uh, Gray R uh, had this set up, but it wasn't working for me, so I messed around a little bit, and same thing, I added the invisible spells just to make it work, work a little bit better, so yeah, let's show this off. So this one is actually a little bit better than the first one, even though it's a little bit more unsafe, uh, due to the fact that the circle of, or touch of smoke will transmute even polymorphine into smoke. So it makes it a lot safer. If you're not paying attention you and you fly into some polymorphine, then uh, your, your touch of smoke will most likely keep you alive so it's really neat and same thing you don't have to have this reduce on but if you don't have the reduce on it is a bit longer and you do have risk of uh, being flung into it so I think with the reduce it's a little bit better because then it's even though it's hitting you constantly it's a more controlled area that you're erasing so yeah and then we get into this one. This one's a pretty simple build, but uh, as far as uh, Rengar had a really cool wand that did a bunch of damage, but it lags a lot. So I wanted to show off the concept that uh, that Rengar had brought to my attention, which is divide by 800. So it's a really cool thing where you can cast divide by 800 on a projectile, and then if you have a modifier on it like Venomous Curse, it'll apply 800 Venomous Curse because it's going to be on each single Spark Bolt. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, a problem though is that 
these projectiles do zero damage because these are taking all the damage off of it, so it doesn't do anything. And the test dummy doesn't actually take venomous curse damage, but if you were to hit an enemy with this, they will just poof out of existence. So not even all the particles hit him, and uh, he kind of just uh, disintegrated. And so you can also use the fact that if you have more damage on this projectile, say if you take concentrated spells, then you're going to do a bunch of damage. And that's what Reitinger was using uh, this build for. So as you can see, it causes a bit of lag. It's not that bad. Uh, and you can also help that with invisible spell, but Still, if you're going down this path, uh, you, you definitely want to make sure that you're not just rapid firing this because it's going to cause a bit of lag. <laughs> and then we have this wand right here, which I wanted to show off because uh, it's a pretty cool looking firework wand. So the only thing that's uh, really going on is the heavy spread is making sure that these spread out. Then the decelerate makes them uh, slow down enough that that they're not uh, just shooting out. And then the chain spell makes them cast multiples of the unmodified ones. So yeah, let's see what this does. Uh, let's start off with the blue one because I think that one looks the best. We're actually going to turn this off because uh, it, it is a pretty simple build and I, I don't want uh, any distraction from it. All right, happy Pride Month, everyone. And uh, as far as these projectiles, um, they're Infinowisp. They're gonna last forever because they had a single chain spell on them. And so what that means is the spitter bolts, the small, uh, large, and giant spitter bolts, are made infinite from a chain spell. They have a 6.66 repeating chance of becoming uh, Infinowisp, but yeah, since we divided it by 800, there was bound to be at least one from each uh, batch that was uh, to become infinite. So yeah, we got these nice little Infinowisp. Well, we grabbed all of the uh, Infinowisp and um, there's a few of them, just, just a little bit. Yeah, that, that many. But yeah! Well, hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your evening, noon, and or night. And uh, thank you, Keith, for your amazing creatures that I nicked these black tentacles from. And, uh, oh, they are fantastic. I love them very much. And yeah, hopefully I'm able to create more content. And I am struggling hard. If it's not one thing, it's another. But... Hopefully I'll be able to release this soon enough and then, uh, yeah, work on something else. But until then, have a wonderful evening, noon, and or night. Goodbye!